Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to another brand new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 20 with a new franchise, the Seattle Mariners. As I did for the previous entries, I simulated the previous season. The Red Sox won the World Series, for those of you who care about such things. Uh, and our job is going to be... Building a team that can win the World Series. We only have three teams left in our World Tour. The Seattle Mariners, the Tampa Bay Rays, and the Colorado Rockies. Uh, a couple of things that are going to make things different from previous series. We're going to have free agency in Season 1. Um, so, we're going to need to balance contracts a little bit better. Which is going to be very interesting. Uh, right now, we have no team. Um, we're waiting for the expansion draft. And, uh, yeah. First thing we need to do is hire an assistant GM. And again, the most important thing to get out of our assistant GM is someone who's good at development. Oh, we're going to hire Irv because he's going to be cheaper. Again, I don't know that this actually will affect development necessarily, but I also know that it is a thing that I definitely want done. Uh, scouting. Uh, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. Uh, don't bother me during the regular season. Right. Let's go right to the expansion draft, ladies and gentlemen. I got my general manager. Fantastic. Do we care who wins the awards? I kind of don't. But maybe you do. So. Okay. We've got a, a veritable interesting group of free agents. We're going to want to stay on the cheap side though. Uh, and those dirty Blue Jays actually get to pick before I do. That's fine. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? Do we have any really high potential guys? There's Ed Crane Pool. Mike Phillips is a pretty terrible shortstop. As is Bobby Valentine. Mark Kelleher plays shortstop quite well, but doesn't hit. Oh, dear. Um... We have an issue, which is that literally no one is going, is going to put anyone really good on the expansion draft list. Like, I mean, could we bring in Jim Cott to be a pitcher? Maybe. But I'd rather not acquire someone that's going to be quite that expensive. I have absolutely no faith in most of these players, uh, which is good, actually. This means we shouldn't have a difficult time building our team. Uh, are there any good catchers? There are not. Since they're all equally terrible, there's no reason to jump ahead. Who is the single best hitter in the group? Position rating, sort by contact... It's probably Felix Milan. He's expensive, but I think he's sort of worth it. So we're going to go ahead and take him. Uh, 
Oh, it's a sir, it's a snake style draft, isn't it? Okay. Let's also grab Ed Crane Pool. Or do we go ahead and take you know? Let's take Roy Stager. A good quality third baseman is not easy to find, as we know. We took Crane Pool. That's fine. I could grab Bob Bailey and shift him to first. I think we'll do that. And then I want to be the first one to grab a pitcher. Uh, pitching ratings, please. You are all terrible at everything. Oh, joy. Steve Stone, come on down. All these pictures are quite literally the worst. Yeah, I'm just literally grabbing players almost at randomly now. Um, all batters, fielding ratings, center field. Luis Melendez or Leon Brown. Literally none of you can hit. So I might as well just take the youngest guy. So I'm going to take Leon Brown and he can be my starting center fielder. Um... To the extent that there are good catchers, are there in fact good catchers? Cox can play a position but can't hit. Merchant's got at least a little bit of power. Yeah, I'll take Merchant. All players. Let's just start going best player available just to fill out the roster. We're honestly pretty close to the point where I'm just going to just take whoever I get. Um, Mike Phillips is apparently an asshole, so I don't want to mess with him. You know what? I will take a very good defensive shortstop. Hey, Cito Gaston is literally as good as we're going to get. Fine. Draft player. An arm brister one. Ooh, we could get we could get friend of the channel Joe Lees. Let's do it. Remember, this is about filling holes just so that we have warm bodies. And then we can consider down the road grabbing players um, who might give us something to build around. Probably Valentine is at least semi-useful as um, a middle infielder type. Do any of the relief pitchers have anything in the way of stuff? Sorry, not stats. Uh, ratings. Frisella does. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead now and just go ahead and just complete the rest of the draft. I don't think there's anything else that's worth spending our time on. No, thank you. Go to Hall of Fame voting. 
I've got to put everyone on the roster, don't I? That's fine. Boop. This is fine. Okay, we're going to be picking second overall. So we're going to have some really good choices to choose from. I think Trammell or Whitaker is probably going to be my choice. But we'll see what happens. Uh, we are only two, though. So whoever the uniform best player in the draft is, we're not going to be getting them. Because Toronto's... Oh, I do get to pick first. Oh, damn. Okay. Cool. Very cool. I get to have my pick. That's pretty exciting, actually. I would love to cast my ballot for the Hall of Fame. Got a lot in Ernie Banks. Jim Bunning, sure. Don Drysdale, yeah, okay. My old friend, Bob Friend. Uh, obviously, Eddie Matthews. That goes without saying. Robin Roberts, definitely. Duke Snyder, of course. And Eddie Yost. Eh, I'm less sanguine about him, but we can still take him. All right, my friends, let's get building. <clears throat> I'm actually really happy that we got the first overall pick. That's going to give us so many more choices. Okay. Is there any good reason not to take Alan Trammell? Nope, not going to overthink it. Alan Trammell, done. It's too easy. Um, he's a premium player at a premium position. He's a perfect hitter. He's everything I want in a baseball player. Alan Trammell, slam dunk, first overall pick. And good lord, did the talent thin out super damn quick. I really do like Bruce Taylor as uh, as a player, but what do we got for batters? Okay. Uh, I do quite like Thad Bosley. He looks like a solid outfielder. But we're really weak at catcher. I don't know that he has the offense to carry catcher, though. And then we instantly see how quickly things drop off. I'm going to take Thad Bosley. I think he works out quite nicely as an extra piece to our puzzle. <laughs> Larry Sorensen. Beggars can't be choosers. I don't love him. But I also have probably the worst rotation in Major League Baseball. So I'm going to take him. And be happy that I got him. Um, What else? I'm not sure what planet Bobby Castillo qualifies as a starting pitcher. He has one good pitch-ish. I... 
I'd honestly rather play Garvin as a starter. But I also think they might be available in the next round. So let's see what else is available to us. Ah, uh, Landis Toy. An okay hitter who can't really play that well. Okay, hitter. You know, your positional flexibility and makes you a good candidate to be drafted and become a fourth outfielder down the road. And organizations need that kind of player too. And then let's look at all players. Oh, um, all players. There we go. Jackson Todd looks like a really good relief guy. Let's grab him. Auto draft. A bunch of objectively terrible players. Hooray. Yeah, I'll just complete the draft. Negotiate. All right. Get that signing bonuses sent out to everybody. I think this is the first time we've ever had me have a top five pick that I didn't have to agonize over. Because he's clearly the best choice. Um... Alan Trammell is playing zero innings for the Major League team this year. I would like to make that clear. Second one. Under no circumstances is he ever going to be starting in the Majors. Jackson Todd, maybe. Um, triple A, please. Uh, rule 5 draft. Anyone here not completely and utterly suck? Nope. Okay. Complete draft. Oh no, you took Ed Farmer. No. That's fine. So, here's the truth. We're not going to be competitive this first season. We're just not. Um... Okay, Alan Trammell. Let's start you in single A. I'm not going to rush you. Mallory. Uh, you can start in single A. Um, Sorensen, you're the only guy who's going to start in the majors for us. So you're going to go straight to the majors. And good old Thad Bosley, I think, also goes to the majors. But I'm thinking I'll start him in Triple A. All right, you're all signed. Let's sniff around for free agents. Um. Oh damn. There's some actually pretty good free agents available. Huh. I have no money for free agents. Delightful. I'm going to have to hope that the owner gives us a bit more money. But I suspect I'm not going to get it. Oh, here we go. You did actually increase my budget. So I've got about a million dollars to spend on free agents. Um, which is good. 
there's a couple of things we want to focus on on free agency. Uh, cheap players. Hello, Larry Heil. I will happily offer you a chance to make the roster in spring training. Lou Pinella, not so much. Bart Johnson, you know what? Done. And I'd also like to bring on Daryl Evans. And... I really like the idea of getting Bill Robinson. Someone with just a ton of thud in his bat. But Cesar Geronimo it does play center field. Oh, what the heck. Let's offer them both deals and see what happens. Okay, Cesar Geronimo wants to get paid, and I'm not convinced that he's a good risk. Let's offer on Ken Holtzman. This is how we're going to be playing, basically. We're going to be grabbing up the free agent bargains and then flipping them during the season if we can. Um, Ed Herman, I will happily give you a minor league deal if you want it. We'll do the same with Dave Duncan. That all seems fine. Ooh, Ellie Rodriguez. He's actually a, a pretty good defensive catcher. There we go. This is going to eat up a lot of free agent money if everyone buys. But again, our objective this season is to basically suck and flip people if they are having good years. Anyone we don't end up signing is just whatever. Uh, let's put you on the active roster. Uh, I'm going to put you on the 40 man, but I think I might start you in AAA if I can get away with it. Oh, you won't. Deny me. Fine, that's fine. Oh, right. Sorry. All right. So what we're going to do... Um, I'm not going to start you any higher than single A. I'd consider starting you in double A a bit later. All right, everybody, get it going. Uh, you're already out for three months. So I'm not going to bother with you. Martin, Dwyer. <clears throat> you know what? I'll start you in single A, but I'm going to be... Let me put you on my short list. Alan Trammell. And then I will, I will aggressively push you if you can handle it, but I don't want to rush you. And I'm definitely not going to put you in the majors this year. I just don't think that's a wise use of our resources. Uh, bench coach, earn your salary. And I'm just going to send ahead a week because we are still signing people. Okay. 
how much money is Ken Hol how much money are you being offered? We have so much spare room, you know what? I'm gonna kick it up a couple grand, about 20 grand. And hey, we got Ken Holtzman, so that's good. And he instantly gets signed, which is whatever. Um, let's send the rest of the month. Milt Wilcox is out for two weeks. Four months for Jackson Todd. God damn it, really? You're not allowed to kill my rookie. Okay, I need to stop this crap. I should not be getting stopped every time someone gets injured. Um, here we go. Out at least for a week. Now remember, we're going to have to worry about service time. So we're going to have to make sure that we don't start anyone's clock too soon. Player development. Probably a lot of people crashing for the most part. It's whatever. Um, delightful. Okay, spring training games are done. And we've got 36 players. How long is Zon? Eh, he'll be back soon enough. Okay. Step one, we have 18 pitchers and 18 hitters. We want to cut the pitchers down by six. Uh, Jeff Zahn. Can I get literally anything for him that's a rookie? Uh, here, let's eliminate regulars because I don't want to pay any money. Hey, you know what? Let's take Ed Putman. Done. Because look, you're not going to give me anything better than that. So I'll just complete the trade and add a little bit of depth to the organization's uh, catching. Done. Right. Uh, other players who are obviously terrible. Tom, my dude, I'm going to wave you. Uh, Ray Sadecki, what can I get for you? Harry Deneen, done. And again, we're just very clearly dumping players that aren't immediately going to even make the team that I can't just demote. Uh, Klein, you're going to the minors. Uh, Kekic, you're pretty much too terrible to play. Here we go, all players. You will give me a legitimately excellent bullpen guy? Or I could also take like a Tim Stoddard who will develop into one. I think that's a bit smarter. As much as I'd love to get Frank McCormick, uh, Stoddard actually has a much brighter future in my opinion. So, Done. Rosters. Pitching. We're down to 13. Only need to get rid of one more pitcher.
Legro, I think. Got to get her a five plus players. I don't need three catchers. Duncan and Rodriguez. Done. That was easy. Um... Wire. Howard, can you play center? You cannot. I'm going to demote you. I have way too many outfielders. Uh, Dwyer down. Martin down. Even six outfielders is, quite frankly, probably ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Bosley. Let's let him develop a bit in AAA before we promote him. All right, let's make sure people make the roster that made the roster. Uh-huh. Who else? Uh, both my catchers. Boop and boop. And Johnson makes the roster. Boop. Okay, now let's build the team. And I use the term extremely loosely. Blue Moon Odom? How did I end up with him? Uh, I got him in the expansion draft. Okay. Um, right. Holtzman, Johnson, Stone, Wilcox. Sorensen. Look at that. It auto-fixed his position. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Thank you, game. All relievers. Pitcher ratings. You're all pretty terrible. But Brew's the only one who's good at two things, so you're the closer, I guess. Frisella, sure. Middle relief, middle relief. Lefty specialist. Sorry, Odom is going to be long relief emergency starter, and then the rest of you guys can middle relief. Our bullpen sucks, but it's not going to matter because I don't think our starters are going to be getting us to the bullpen very effectively anyway. Uh, clear this shit out, bro. No, don't do that. I meant clear. And clear. Okay. Who is my best hitter? Bill Robinson is my number three hitter. He is flawed in oh so many other ways, but I still think he's the best choice. Uh, Frank Malone. You're going to be hitting uh, leadoff. And that uh, Heil, I think, is going to hit second. I don't love him being the starting center fielder, but I'm also okay with it for a season or two. Uh, my man Daryl Evans is going to be our right fielder, or our, um, our cleanup hitter.
What positions left do I need to fill? I need a DH, which could be Bailey, actually. Um, I need third base, shortstop, right field, catcher. Uh, Kelleher is going to be the shortstop, and he's going to bat nine. Tiger's going to play third, and I think we'll have him bat eighth. Who's going to be playing right field for us? Cito Gaston, I guess. And then... Uh, I guess Dave Duncan can start as the catcher. And that's fine, once a week. Copy, copy, paste, paste. There we go. Is this roster going to win many games? Absolutely not, but we should still have fun. No, Kansas City, you jerks. <clears throat> And Alan Trammell's not playing 10 seconds in the major leagues this year. I will happily sign a shortstop out of free agency. Trammell's number one. Yeah. I'm excited about the future. As long as he doesn't do a Chris fucking Spire. I'm going to play football. Football this jerk face. Uh, you guys can all go to AAA. Remember, one of our biggest objectives is going to be making sure we finish in the top five. Um, if we have a player that seems like they're doing a super awesome, I'm probably going to try to flip them um, and get quality prospects or just other pieces to fill our roster. Poor Blue Moon Odom. You will be missed. Uh, let's quickly check and see who here we would want to have for next season. For certain. Going to be under 30 before I'll consider it. Or ARB eligible is fine. You know, I don't object to bringing, to keeping Bill Robinson for a couple of years. But I'm going to wait, actually. Because a lot of these guys are probably going to get traded. We could also hang on to them and get supplemental draft picks, I think, as well. Aw, oh, poor Cito Gaston. Uh, Martin, you are in to play right field. All right. Bill Robinson's actually having a very fine season. Is that 
pick is Sheldon Mallory. I genuinely don't recall drafting you. Player development. Things are happening. Nothing particularly noteworthy. Okay. Um, OOTP. I should automatically get a scouting report on any player that's on my short list. Uh, that should just be common sense. How's good old Trammel doing? Where is Trammel? Oh, he's injured. Broke his rib. That's unfortunate. Power's not there yet, but the rest of his tool set seems very much to be there. And I think when he heals up in July, we're going to consider flipping him, or promoting him to double A. Okay. So let's look at the team home screen. Bill Robinson and Larry Heil are our good hitters. Everyone else is pretty terrible. Our pitching staff is awful. This is not a very good team. Nothing here is surprising to me. Do we want Bill Robinson? Is Bill Robinson likely to be part of the next good Mariners team? The answer to the question is pretty obviously no. I would like to start getting offers for both Robinson um, and Heil. But I'm not going to move them until I absolutely have to. I don't care. Can you play shortstop at all? No. Tud size more, come on down. Give you a major league contract, my dude. And then for right now, we'll just play with a backup. <clears throat> um, what position do we not have enough at? Oh, we lost a relief pitcher and I didn't promote anybody. That's on me. Um, yeah, sure, Farmer can come back. He's a back end of the bullpen guy. Use less often, please. So there's probably going to be a lot of turnover on this team, um, which is fine. I have no objections to that until we can build properly through the draft. And Jackson Todd is injured because you're a jerk. Let's sim to the end of June. Are you any good, Max? You are not. I would like to trade you for literally anything that I can get my hands on that might be useful in the future. Um, Mark Lemongello could be a back of the rotation starting type. But Bill Atkinson is the better peer reliever. But I like having a guy like him in the system. So let's make the trade. Boop. 
Uh, Blue Moon, you're getting rehabbed. I'll send Kahler to AAA and let Sizemore finish out the year shortstop. Yeah, I don't care. All right. What can I get for our better players? Let's offer up Bill Robinson. Again, we're just going to focus on prospects. Rich Dower. Really good infielder. Doesn't hit all that well. I could get Bill Atkinson, who could be a very fine relief pitcher at some point. Um, not Gil Rondon. That guy kind of sucks. I don't love McCormick. Um... He's going to be an extremely situational reliever. And it's not clear to me that he's going to succeed. Um, like, in the perfect circumstances, Rick Rich Dower might hit a little bit. If everything goes perfectly. And frankly, I'm not sure that it will. Oh, I like Bob Baylor quite a lot, actually. I love players like this that play so many positions well. It gives, will give us so much flexibility. Would you give me both players? You would. How's about we check your actual main roster and see if there's anyone here that we'd like to grab that's on the young side. Andres Mora? No. If I did ask for Andres Mora, what would I what would you have to throw what would I have to throw in to get you to agree to it? I mean Andres Moore is a little too one-dimensional for me to be bending back, bending over backwards to make that trade. How about a Fred Holdsworth? All right, you you properly value him as you should. That's understandable. Mike Flanagan. Okay. What if I eat half of his salary? No. What if I throw in Larry Hyde? Yeah, that's not going to fly. I think asking for Flanagan is too much. Um, there's really nobody else you have that you're going to give me that I'd be interested in. Like, I would pee my pants with joy if I got Bobby Gritch, but you're never going to give me Bobby Gritch, and nor should you. Same with Ken Singleton. 
I mean, this is turning right. This is turning a very good outfielder into two very competent infielders. Maybe not guys who are going to win All Star games, but useful parts that I can let develop in the minor leagues, um, and then maybe turn around and flip again someday. I think this is the kind of deal that we have to make. I will at least check your your in or your uh, minor leagues. I could probably get Rick Kruger. I just don't think I want him. Um. You're giving me Baylor. Should give me Kruger. He'd think about it. I'm just gonna take it as is. I know we probably didn't get as much as we could have for a player who was legitimately having a great season. But um, Dower gives us pretty tremendous positional flexibility, so I can then turn around and flip someone else. I'm gonna send you to the minors though. I just know I need to put you on the forty man. Um, let's call up Dwyer. And at this point, look, I'm going to go and let my bench coach set the lineup. Let him play who he wants to play, where he wants to play them. couple years of a cheap extension for Bart Johnson seems pretty reasonable, actually. Um, no one else here is making more than 100 k What would Heil want to come back? He's not even interested. What if I add in regulars and let's see what kind of player offers we get? Remember, key one, we want to get younger. Key two, we want to get more talent. Really not even anybody in the green. So here you go, Bill Campbell. He's a good reliever. I'm not going to give up just that, though. I can pretty much get my choice of relievers. Uh oh. Nope. Yeah, not worth it. I'm just going to keep him to the end of the year and maybe try to get a draft pick out of him. A trade proposal, you said. Nope, not interested. I'm not going to trade any player unless the player makes us younger. Yeah, he is pretty unhappy, but he is going to have to deal with that. Okay, who on this team is actually good enough to come back next year? coaching wise uh, pretty much no one um i will extend all the minor league coaches for one year just so i have to worry about that but i think we're going to completely restock uh oh how does steve creighton get along ah he wants to work with veterans that's not going to happen with this team anytime soon Excellent. <clears throat> Not at Farmer. 
We are all doomed. Uh, Odom, you can come back. Do I have you locked up beyond this year, Mr. Brewer? Oh, you're 39. That would be pretty dumb. I can offer you an extension. Yeah, I think everyone hates how bad the team is, so they're not going to want to do much, which is completely and utterly fair. Go ahead and rehab in the miners for a bit. Oh my god, team trainer. If I can knock it off. Quit getting people hurt. Like, dude, seriously. Steve Klein, welcome back. I don't care how sore your back is caught, Wilcox, deal with it. And you're going to be a long reliever. I'm really tired of hearing that people's recovery time is unclear. It's going to be pretty hilarious. I actually don't know who they're going to pick for my... Um... Oh, come on, Toronto. Really? You guys suck. They're tanking even harder than I am. You're a jerk. Who's the one player from Seattle? Uh, excuse me. Why do I not have a representative? I quite clearly said it. To force. Man, you guys suck. Whatever, dude. It unchecked my setting. I'm not happy about that. Uh, let's trade C. Oh, he's actually injured again. I'll just convert you to the injured list. Uh, Trammel. You have learned what you can learn in single A. Oh, look at that. That is spicy. Uh, Alan, my dude. Double A for you. Trading deadline. Who or what is worth trading? It's really just Heil. Not going to trade for veterans because I don't want to add salary. Twenty-six-year-old junk baller is not the worst thing for a team to acquire. Eh, Kirby doesn't throw enough strikes. Jim Spencer wouldn't be a terrible addition. Okay, you know what? Let's look only at ooh, Ron Goodry. I quite like this deal. Because <clears throat> the real Louisiana Lightning had a very solid career. And we are not currently lucky enough to have multiple quality starting pitchers. I'm going to come back. Oh, damn. 
I could basically use the Braves and just rebuild my entire bullpen. You guys are that desperate. Um, Dusty Baker isn't white. Okay, rule number one, gotta be under 24, or 26 rather. I, I'm going to take Ron Goudry. I think he's just a better choice. I think he fills a need for us and having young pitching depth in the minor leagues. Um, would you throw in Larry Anderson by chance? I would have to offer you... If I offer you Daryl Levins, I would need something else in this trade, too. Oh, that is your AAA team. Okay, gotcha. Would you give me Willie Randolph? You want know <clears throat> cards on the table? I offer you Felix Milan. Um, Bart Johnson. No. I don't think there's any way you'd ever give me Willie Randolph, but let me drop that and see. No. Yeah, you're never going to give me Willie Randolph. Which is fair. Um, I'm not going to gut my system to acquire Larry Anderson, even if I do think he'll be a pretty good reliever at one point. This deal makes sense. Um, so we're going to make that happen. Oh, you have barely, basically no Major League service. Awesome. Um, fine. I'm going to stick you in AAA for the rest of the season, though. Give you some time to develop, right? Uh, lemon Jello up to single A, please. Putnam, single A. Stoddard, double A. No, you really don't think he handled double A, huh? Okay. Uh, sure, I'll promote Mallory. I'm fine with that. Anyone else I'd like to flip? Holtzman. Because trading Holtzman would, first of all, give us a spot for Goudry to learn his craft. And second of all, he's 31. He's not going to be part of the next good um, team that we have. Just prospects, please. Mm, Rick Cerrone is a pretty tasty little prospect as a catcher. Atkinson. I really do like Bill Atkinson. But I also wouldn't say no to... A great position prospect. Like, I know Cerrone... He's really just going to be a hitter who he'll be lucky to at league average. Who happens to play pretty good catcher. Which isn't the end of the world. But it's not the kind of thing that I want to sell off a reasonably good starting pitcher for. If there's a better offer. I could grab McCormick and hope that he improves his control. And if I do, he'll be a pretty good reliever. 
Can't hit, can't hit. Can't hit. Can't do anything, can't hit, can't hit. I do like McCormick a little better than Atkinson. You know what? If they're just going to keep offering McCormick, I might as well take him off your hands. If you really want to get rid of him that badly. Any young players I could upgrade for? Joe Wallace would be pretty tasty. Add Daryl Levins. No. Okay. No, that's fair. Um, you can't give me Jack Morris even if you wanted to. I don't know you'd never give me Fidrich. I'll ask, but no, you're going to give me the same response. This is reasonable. Done. Um, McCormick, 40 man, triple A. Goudry, move up to the majors and take his spot in the rotation. Anyone else that we'd like to trade this year? Is there anyone that's really expensive that isn't likely to be part of our next very good team? Brewer, but I don't think anyone's going to take Brewer and Bailey similarly. What could I get for Bob Bailey? You know what? I'll take Atkinson too. Let's make this season about building a quality bullpen. Maybe not a great bullpen this year, but a great bullpen in the years to come. And then I need a new DH. Bosley. <coughs> All right, bench coach. Uh, we still need another position player, don't we? Kelleher, sure. I think Daryl Evans is the one I'm going to keep. A, because he's cheap, and B, because he's actually been fairly good this year. Unless he won't resign. Nah, he's too pissed because of how bad the team is. So if it comes down to trade Daryl Evans or lose him in the offseason and get nothing in return, I'm going to trade him now. Um, Tony Armas would actually be a relatively decent right fielder if his power develops. And he's exactly the kind of player I'm willing to take a risk on. He's young. He's talented. Um, Ray Knight would also be a good choice and also happens to fill the same position. Let's take Ray Knight, actually. I try to get Tony Armas with something else. Again, this is all about acquiring young players to fill the roster. Oh, please. And we need to flip one more player. Is there anyone else here who will definitely uh, not be good enough to make the team next year? Not really. I would like to re-sign Frisella if he would accept it, but I have a feeling he's going to say no because the team is so terrible.
There we go, dumb. We were very busy, and that's completely fine with me. I think we've made some very, very solid moves to bolster our second line uh, depth and our um, and make sure that we get something for the veterans that we took in the um, draft. Bruce Del Canton. Go ahead and rehab, please. And we're not sure when Cito Gaston's going to come back. That's whatever. When we call up Alan Trammell, we want to make sure... Look, we don't have to be um, Major League World Series champion level push. But I want to be in a situation where he's not being wasted. Because we're only going to get so much money to spend. We want to make sure that we spend the money intelligently. Damn it, Toronto is going to get the first overall pick. And the Pirates are trying to suck bad enough to get into the second overall pick. Which would be a very mean thing to do. Uh, you're going to start at AAA next year, Alan Trammell. But beyond that, I have no particular reason to. Do much else. Okay, that's pretty awful. That's not a nice thing you did to me, game. Uh, call up Gaston. Call up McCormick and Atkinson. Call up Del Canton. That's all lovely. You're not even getting a cup of coffee this year, Alan Trammell. Um, bench coach, get to work. You, get to work. I hate you. Uh, we need a better team trainer. That's got to be something we invest pretty heavily in. Because we've gotten... A ridiculous number of injuries this season. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one's going to want to sign a new contract with us. You know what? Knock it off, trainer. Yes! First overall pick. We should get the first overall pick. Uh, anything exciting happen in player development? Not really. If that Bosley got better playing left field. Okay. Who's gonna win the World Series? I don't know. Oh. All right. Let's see. Did anyone at all perform well on the roster? Absolutely not. Awesome. That's because literally anytime someone showed any talent, though, I traded them. So I'm not too upset about that. The team MVP almost by default is Jim Brewer. That's pretty hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. This team is not so good, but uh, that's okay. We weren't meant to be. Not this year. But soon, my friend, soon. Yankees and the Reds. I don't care who's eligible to come off the DL. Please shut up. Fine, you know what? There. No, stop talking. Game. And the Reds won the World Series in 1977. So...
what we want to do yep hey i completed a couple of owner goals though so that's fine he is really happy about most of what i did My team trainer retired. Yeah, you better fucking retire. Hmm. Okay. So the first season was pretty much a train wreck, but we expected that. Most importantly, we got a no-doubt core player to build the team around an Allen Trammell. What we need to do is we need to get more top quality talent in the draft and start picking up decent free agents but I'm not going to make a big splash on a player uh, in the next two seasons I don't think we'll see what happens it could be that we get really really lucky but I doubt it I quite doubt it <laughs> Our three top players in war are no longer on the team. That's pretty glorious. Um, so that's what we need to do, basically. Um, we need to figure out who's good and who's not. And build. Continue to build. This draft, maybe one more. And then maybe season four or so. Start to try to make an impact. There you go. Until next time, though, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.